What's up guys, it's Thursday Exclusive here, um, and today I'm back with another uh, Biomutant Achievement Guide. Um, this time it's going to be a two for one. I'm going to be working on the uh, the Trek and the Show Off Achievement. Now the Trek Achievement revolves around discovering all of the six uh, tribe forts in the game, and then the Show Off Achievement revolves around defeat enemies using three different tribe weapons. Um, now the tribe weapons are the ones that you get at the end of each fort whenever you defeat one of the leaders of each fort. Um, or if you happen to take the route where you take the peaceful route after defeating the first two forts, um, you basically just have to go to the end of the other forts and you'll, um, you'll basically reclaim each of the tribe's weapons. Um, so I already have all of these and I already discovered all these, all these forts and I already went to all of them and I already got all the, uh, weapons, but I'll show you basically where they are and, um, I'll go to each one of them and show you where the weapons are and then I'll show you, you know, just go to like an enemy and use uh, each of the weapons on them. So that's pretty much it. You know, if this video helps you out, definitely let me know in the comments. Uh, leave a like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's uh, let's go. So first off, we're going to start off with the, uh, the Myriad Fortress. Now, <laughs> this is one of the first two that you find. Um, so this should be pretty easy to find, but just going to show you exactly where it is, um, just showed you where it is on the map, so you have to just come here, go inside, Each and, new day you know, depending new on chances. which route you took, you'll either automatically receive th these guys' weapons, or um, you can just find it inside the room. Uh, I think I'm a little lost, let me see. I don't think I'm going the right way. Alright, so this is the room. Now, this was my tribe that I actually stayed with throughout the whole game. Um, but the weapon would be right here on the stand, and each of the fortresses has a weapon, has a stand like this. Um, I already have the weapon, which is why I can't interact with it. But uh, this is where it would be. You just come over here, you press Y to interact with it, and that's how you put it into your inventory. And then you can use it at, you know, at your own leisure to attack enemies with and get the other achievement. Get the show-off achievement, so... So that's it for the Myriad Fortress. The uh, Jagni Fortress is over here. Once again, this is one of the first two that you have to either take over or, you know, or side with. So this is the first one that I took over and I defeated. Um, but you just have to follow this road up here and go to where the leader resides usually. Which is this way. It's up here past this door. And then the uh, the weapon stand, I believe, is always on the left. So you come here, see the weapon's gone. Um, but yeah, that's where it would be for that one. Uh, the next fortress is over here. It is the Ankadi Fortress. If I remember correctly, the uh, the game basically shows you where these are on the map, so they're not that hard to find. Um, but I figured, you know, I should just help out and do the two for one since I wanted to do both of these achievements, so. Here we go. You go in here. Weapon stand is right here. Weapon's not there because I already have it. Alright, that's it for that one. So that's the third fortress. Now the fourth one is all the way back here. It's the Pichu Fortress. Kind of funny. It's the freaking Pokemon. Anything this is probably the coolest fortress of them all, in my opinion. Because it's like inside the mountain, which I think is pretty cool. Um, fortunately, the freaking waypoint is pretty far from the actual entrance of it. But, you know... What I do know is that in order for you to actually get the achievement for discovering all the forts, um, you have to come to them. Going to the fast travel point and locking it is not enough. You have to actually go inside each of the fortresses. I'm not sure how far in you have to go. I believe just wherever you see the the name of the fortress itself. Um, but, you know, since you're going to be going in here for the weapons anyway, you may as well just go all the way in. I don't know if I actually got this weapon here. Oh, this is a whole, like... I've never actually been in here. Is it up here somewhere? Oh, I did get it. Okay. 
So this is this is the stand over here. Now, since this is underground, I don't think I can fast travel from here. But let's see if I can. Nope. Can't. So I have to come out. Kinda sucks. Let's just go all the way out. Alright. Let's come out here. Now I can fast travel. So, fortress number five is the Lotus Fortress. It's located right there. And just go in here. This one's kind of cool because it's like in the middle of water and stuff. Whatever you do, do it right. Or don't do it. So this one you have to go pretty deep inside for it to actually trigger the the name that you're in it, so. And go over here for the weapon. Once again, this one's gonna be on the left weapon rack. I already got it, so I'm good on that. Now you can quickly leave this way, but I don't think I have to, because it's technically outside. Yeah. So, the last one is the Netra Fortress. And it's in this area over here in the east side of the map. These are the dudes that have like little football helmets on. They look like football players. Kind of funny. The Netra Fortress. Tread carefully here. Go inside, go up here. Go through here, and right there is the entrance to the leader's hall or room, whatever you want to call it. Alright, and here's the weapon rack. So, literally visiting each of them, getting the weapons if you want, um, should give you the Trek achievement. And now, since I showed you where all the weapons are, um, all you literally have to do is go to an area where there's enemies. And then just kill each of the enemies with uh, with the weapons. Now, for this purpose, I'm going to go to the Shop Shop 8B area, just because off the top of my head, that's probably the best area for me to go. I remember there being a lot of enemies, and um, you can literally, I think you can literally kill any enemies, but I prefer killing humanoids with the weapons, just because, I don't know, they're like, they dodge less and stuff. Um, hang on, I'm going the wrong way. So I gotta go this way. Let me call my mount. Don't be fairy. It probably won't bite. Okay. Wow. Thanks. Just get stuck. Oh, oh look at that. There's three enemies right here. Okay, this works. So, I'm gonna go ahead, wait, relax, jeez, man. Alright, so the Myriad Boomerang. Wait. Alright, there we go. So, who could stand you can that? literally keep hitting them until you kill them with it. Weapons don't do that much damage. So, you know, you literally only have to kill them with it, so, I, you know, I would advise you use your regular weapons. Talk to like lower them and then just knock them out with it. Come on you punk. Alright so he's gonna die from that. There you go. Let's see the next thing that I'm gonna use is the Nitro Trap Grappler. Actually wait this doesn't work is it? No 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 that doesn't work. So that's not a weapon you want to use. Sorry about that. Um, the Pichu Tribe, Nunchuck. There you go. Now, this one also doesn't do that much damage, so I'm gonna... Put my weapon. Alright, wait, I don't want him to die. Just use the Nunchucks on him. There you go, he's dead. Let me lower this guy's health a 
little bit. There you go. And then the weapon that I'm going to use now is the Jagni Tribe Staff. Hey and there you go. And that's three weapons that I use to kill three enemies. And that's it. So that's it for the, uh, yeah, so that's it for me, guys, for this video. Uh, that would that was the video for the uh, Trek and the show-off achievement in Biomune. You know, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope this helps you uh, earn this achievement. Uh, definitely let me, you know, let me know if this uh, video helped you out in the comments. And leave a like and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, as always, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Happy achievement hunting. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one.